So let me start with the first medicine, what I call as time as medicine. And interestingly, this is the most powerful medicine which you all have, but maybe a little bit awareness is required. So we have to understand one interesting thing about the body. For example, nowadays in television, social media, you have been seeing people are dropping dead. Suddenly, while in the gym, while driving, or while even having a marriage, or even garbha these days, people are suddenly dying. Apparently without any reason. And mostly the youngster. Certain heart attacks, certain cardiac arrest, these are the very common thing nowadays and we are shocked and surprised trying to understand what is happening. There is no doubt there is a complete clarity that it is because the those two vaccine which people took. But now, if people ask me how to know that I am prone to heart attack since I have taken the vaccine. So, is there anything which, through which I can, uh, I can at least see my future? So, that is what is time as medicine, the first medicine you must understand. Through this you will understand what is happening inside the body. You do one experiment tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., you take your blood pressure. Your blood pressure is here. It can be anything, 140 by 90, 160 by 100, whatever. Now, in the night 10 p.m., you take another blood pressure. You will find your night blood pressure is here. And always your morning blood pressure is here. It is never same like this. It is also not this, like this. If it is this, this means your chances of heart attack is very, very less in comparison to certain people. If it is like this or this, this means the night blood pressure is higher than the morning blood pressure. That means these people are known as medical term, non-deeper kind of people. This means they are more prone to heart attack in comparison to less rest of the population. Why I am telling you this? Because I want to tell you there is a timing for everything in the body. This timing is being decided by, in this case, blood pressure, it can be kidney, heart, lung together. They decide what should be the blood pressure right now. Right? It is not same all the time. It is in response to what is happening all around. So that is the timing for blood pressure. You do one experiment again, maybe tonight. This question you are asking, unable to sleep properly. You will realize every night before you sleep, your temperature dip by a fraction, 0.5 degree Celsius. And that dip in the temperature causes you sleep. There is a timing for pressure, blood pressure. There is timing for temperature. If someday your, blood, your temperature do not dip, remain same, you will not be able to sleep. Right? So sleeplessness is one of the major problem. And the solution is ensure somehow if you could dip the body temperature. If I want to make you sleep right now, I have to dip the body temperature, your body temperature by half a degree. And if I can achieve it, probably you will feel sleepy. Especially if I achieve it in the after the sunset. So normally body does it on its own. That is the circadian clock of your temperature. But for many of us, sometime the body is unable to dip the temperature. And that means that night you will not be able to sleep properly. You will not be able to sleep at the very first place. So what is the solution? Solution I told you, you have to ensure that your body temperature should dip. How I can do it if the body is not doing it? One way which we do in our hospital, or I suggest to my patient, enter the bedroom only at the time when you want to sleep and let the temperature of the bedroom be cooler, one degree or two degree, than rest of the house. The moment you enter the bedroom, your, that environment is cool in comparison to the rest of the room, this means your body will start automatically dipping the temperature because of the environment. 
and that causes sleep. But somebody say, I don't have air condition in my house. Don't worry. Then you take a very, very hot water bath about 40 minutes before the time you want to go to sleep. When you take a hot water bath, what is happening? The temperature of the body will increase. But after that, the body temperature will again come down to normal. This coming down, causing a sleep. Coming down, causing a sleep. Right? So, this is the timing for everything. But now, how this method we can use to control the blood sugar, control the blood pressure, even the non-deeper night blood pressure is higher, more prone to heart attack, how to reverse it, this can be one question. To find the answer, these are the research paper which you can surely go through, but uh, again, if you are lazy, I can help you to solve the problem. The rule is very clear. Time as medicine, the rule is very, very clear. Do not eat anything before 8 a.m. Or after 6 p.m. Eat within the bracket of 10 hours. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Finish your dinner by 6 p.m. After that, don't eat anything. What I just said in last one minute, if you just follow this one rule, you will be surprised, rather shocked to see that your blood sugar will start reducing for those who are diabetes patients. Blood pressure will start dropping within 7 days to 10 days, those who are blood pressure medication, those who are taking. Chronic pain all over the body, that will start reducing by 15 days to 20 days. Even your sleep pattern will improve. Your depth of sleep will improve. Even the problem of dementia, somebody was asking, it will start vanishing. Time as medicine. So this means, in my hospital, when the patient come, irrespective of the disease, the first thing we do is, we don't give the breakfast before 8 a.m. And we finish the dinner by 6 or 6.30 p.m. So free medicine, right? And since he is in a hospital setup, he is having no other option to eat. And irrespective what is the disease, we know the first rule which we apply for all the patients, they are destined to see some relief in the form of reduction in pain, in the form of better sleep, in the form of more energy, in the form of a lot of other things, parameters like blood sugar, blood pressure, etc. All those things. Time as medicine. How we do it exactly, you have to understand when you start doing it, the, we have seen the cancer, they start reversing. The, if you are fat, many people they say, I don't want to change the quantity of food or the kind of food I eat. I am not asking you to change the quantity of food. I am not asking you to change the kind of food. Only I am asking you to change the timing of food. I am not saying that you should eat this or you should not eat that. I should not say, I am not saying you, are eat, you have to eat only this much. I am just saying eat within the bracket of 10 hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So once you start doing it, how much time it will take to see the result? Maybe one day or two days, at the most three days. So this medicine is available to everybody. You eat by 6 p.m. as much as you want. Right? What happens when the sun sets? The same food which you eat after sunset that become a poison. As simple as that. No sunlight, no food. Right? Time as medicine. So, instead, if you have any enemy, any enemy, you want to kill that enemy, make him very sick. So the first food you offer him at 6 a.m. when he get up. And the last food you offer him 12 midnight. Let do something good, whatever he want to eat, right? He will think that he, you are so caring that you are asking him food the moment he gets up. You are asking him food even in the middle of the night. So, this will solve your purpose. After all, he is your enemy. You want to make him obese. You want to make him cancer patient. You want to make him diabetes patient, hypertension patient. The best tool, the best weapon is feed him increase the time of eating, right? 6 a.m. to 12 midnight. That's what we are doing. 
unknowingly, especially in the work from home scenario, Zoom, Netflix, right? So let's say 10 p.m. you are eating even a smallest half a banana, but you're triggering the pancreas which has slept. Get up, get up, do this work. So next day, the pancreas are tired and your blood sugar will start spiking up. So, need not to wake up the pancreas in the middle of the night. Don't do it. Okay, if you have an enemy and you want that he should die very fast, right? He want to kill you. You want to kill him. Then I can give you one rule. Hope that your enemy is not listening to me at this moment. Ensure that you, he is eating between 10 p.m. to next day 6 a.m. Something which is done by the night worker, those who are forced to eat at night because that is the time when they work, some emergency doctors, soldiers, right? So they are forced to do it and their lifespan is lesser uh, on average by 10 years than the normal population. They do by compulsion, but many of us do by habit. So the th thing I want to point out that what you eat that makes you, but more important is when you eat that breaks you. So making or breaking is depending on when you eat, time as medicine. So for the cancer patient, now Dr. Harishan was talking about cancer more common than common cold. Important is what is called cancer, it is based on that. If I right now go for diagnosis, my diagnosis of thyroid, 100% chance that I'll be recognized as a cancer patient, 100%, right? So uh, if biopsy of this part is taken for any of you over the age of 40, then you are uh, clinically a cancer patient. For prostate, for men, 70% chance cancer patient. For women, 40% uh, chance of breast cancer patient. So, it is what you call as cancer. If the diagnosis is cancer, then 100% of us, because here most of us are 40 plus, right? And I say that, okay, everybody is, should thyroid check, th thyroid biopsy test. All of us will be cancer patients. And since you are a cancer patient, now you have to go for chemotherapy, radiation, all those things. Chemotherapy, uh, maybe in the next session I'll cover more. It is the outcome of World War. Concentration camp, mustard gas, that is reinvented as a chemotherapy, chemical therapy. So anyway, let's come to the solution. We say a cancer patient is a true cancer patient if he has a symptom, discomfort, pain, tumorous growth, right? Hemoglobin steeply going down, weakness, unexplained fever, symptoms. No symptom, no disease. If there is symptom, then disease. And if it is a disease, how to cure it? The first, eating within the bracket of 8 hours. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for 15 days. After 15 days, expectedly, he's, he gets some relief in the form of pain reduction, better sleep, growth of the tumor reduces size-wise. Now, we become more flexible, 10 hours of window of eating, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And after he gets cured for rest of the life, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 12 hours of eating and 12 hours of fasting. Time as medicine. Right, so, just following this rule, I have seen most of our patients, within the first three days to one week, they get a tangible effect. Tangible effect. So, make it a part of your lifestyle and that will really help for all of us. It is not possible to remain healthy if you don't do it. It is not possible. If somebody thinks that I will eat beyond this, what I just said, irrespective of what you eat, however healthy it is, healthy food it is, you cannot be cured. Not possible. You cannot remain cured. Not possible. So, you can do one test. When you go back home, you implement this rule for all your family members for one week. One week test, right? You are not going to lose anything. Right? Maybe you get a wonderful method. Right? So, this is for the people about 60% people, they will see the benefit. 70% people, they will see the benefit. But there are 30% people, more chronic, 
longer disease they are yet to see great relief for them i add medicine number 2 from time as medicine the next medicine is called food as medicine right so it is uh, okay if i want to go back so now i am talking of the food as medicine what we do in our hospital so video so video click the video so you can see this is our uh, various hospital all over the country so these are just buildings but there also we apply the same method which i'm going to share here So, so when the people come to big building, they think that I'll get cured, right? That is the only thing, right? If you, your criteria to get cured is big building, then we have big building for you, right? But if it is your criteria is evidence based method, then what I'm going to tell you, you can do at home, right? So if you're lazy, let somebody else do for you, then you can come to our hospital. So the second medicine, what we call as food as medicine. this dip diet i introduced about 12 years back through this book last days of diabetes in context of diabetes only i introduced dip diet how many of you are aware of dip diet or following dip diet a little bit just raise hand okay about 5% 10% already great great so this means there is some awareness of dip diet let me straight come to what you have to do food as medicine and why you have to do see only three step of dip diet only three step step 1 till 12 noon eat only fruits three to four kind of fruits and if you are a diabetes patient then include those fruits which are very very sweet mango grapes banana all these kind of fruits sweeter the fruits faster relief from high blood sugar so maybe you are thinking that you are not hearing properly right i am telling the truth people say that no no doctor told me not to eat mango because i am a diabetes patient i say okay since how long you are not eating mangoes he said 15 years so had it been a cure not eating mango is a solution then why you are still a diabetes patient now change the rule in the morning eat large quantity of fruits of your choice how much body weight into 10 my body weight is 70 kg into 10 that becomes 700 make it gram at least 700 grams of fruits for me right step 1 step 2 when you sit for lunch or when you sit for dinner always sit with two plate so you see i am not restricting you to eat less rather i am saying you eat whatever you have been eating but whatever you have been eating put it in plate 2 it can be roti sabji dal chawal dosa idli ulta seedha put it here right so this means it is clear i am not restricting you but before you start eating this you eat plate one which is uh, vegetables uh, of four kind which you think you can eat in raw form like tomato cucumber these things can be eaten in raw form how much body weight into 5 my body weight 70 kg into 5 350 g if not 350 g let it be 300 g for me if not 300 gram at least it should be 250 grams so sometimes we try to negotiate with the patients right so that at least he follow it if not 100% at least 60 70% once you finish this plate now you are allowed to eat your traditional food you will be surprised that you will feel more hungry by eating this first two three days you may feel full but after that your hunger will increase your appetite will increase this means your metabolism it is increasing it is a good sign if you are not feeling hungry you are sick if you are feeling hungry good sign right so so you will eat more you will start eating more this is when you sit for lunch and this is when you sit for dinner dinner and lunch rule same remember this but dinner add time as medicine finish by 6 pm right then the effect will be even more one last thing 
you have to avoid only two things anything which comes out of factory when you take to eat something does it came straight from the field or it has come through a factory refined food packed food avoid it anything which comes from the animal don't eat it can be dairy product it can be chicken mutton egg etc avoid it dairy product we all must not eat drink eat consume why because humans are the only animal who drink milk life long humans are the only animal who drink other animals milk tiger can hunt a cow or eat a cow but tiger will never catch a cow and drink cow's milk the milk is only for first few months of our life that to the mother's milk that's all i know that many of you have may have lot of argument or lot of uh, logic behind why we should eat or consume dairy products so the same thing the similar kind of lecture was happening in all india institute of ayurveda ministry of ayush government of india 2018 and when i said do not drink milk or consume milk product you know in ayurveda they there is ghee curd are having a major uh, portion of the ayurveda then one professor he said okay let's do an experiment to see clinical trial if you follow these rules will the disease disappear faster so they did the clinical trial by government of india and it was a three month trial but to produce the result they took two years in 2020 the clinical trial they concluded that when you eat like this which i call as dip diet your bone they did it on bone disease because the major concern is if i don't consume milk product from where i'll get the calcium they found when you eat like this avoid dairy product your bone disease disappear your pain disappear right so it is proven by ministry of ayush uh, as you can see and even case study on diabetes type 1 is published in journal of science of healing Out outcome the chief editor dr bm hegde you all know belongs to this place only right so uh, allow yourself to do this experiment for one week for all your life you have been drinking uh, milk so if you don't drink in one week then what happens you will see the change the first change which i see in the type 1 diabetes children is the moment they stop dairy product their blood sugar start dropping their insulin need start reducing one change only one change so if you meet any diabetes type 1 children or their parent the only thing you can start with avoid dairy product so that will give some relief so milk is not something to be consumed for rest of the life this is something you have to understand the best way to understand either the evidence you agree or you become an evidence by avoiding it for one week and you know the result right so this is food as medicine dip diet is the only diet probably the only diet on which the clinical trial was done by three country the second country is nepal nepal did a dip uh, they invited me last year uh, by ministry of national health ministry and i gave, gave a lecture similar to the uh, what i gave in all india institute of ayurveda and then they also decided to do a clinical trial for their country but this time they chose high blood pressure patient blood sugar patient and obese patient and their clinical trial was just for 7 days and they were surprised yes by following the way as i just told you your blood sugar start dropping your blood pressure start dropping your weight start reducing and these result can be seen in one week right and they saw the result in one week and they had to remove the medicine of many of the patients so that was ministry uh, nepal ministry the letter they gave to me in front of you so uh, and the third is uh, in malaysia this is the clinical trial done by lincoln university but this time it was on chronic kidney disease patient here there are some patient chronic kidney disease patient for them the important is the moment you start eating like this what i just said your gfr will start increasing your functioning of the kidney start increasing and important is 
your functioning increasing your symptom will start reducing your swelling etc will reduce your weakness will reduce so just by making one change so important is that for each disease there may not there not required too many different kind of solution one solution for many disease right irrespective of whether it is bone disease whether it is uh, chronic kidney disease whether it is diabetes blood pressure obesity just follow the first two medicine and you start recovering so, so this is the uh, second medicine which we have been talking about food as medicine in the covid center which dr harish chandra introduced to you 1100 bed center they call it covid center we call it flu center because flu influenza covid are the same only every year they give a new name sometimes they call it h1n1 right sometimes they call it uh, uh, sars cov 2 sars cov 3 these are for example you see it's like a new poster on the cinema hall but the old story right so it is same thing so we call it a flu center and in our flu center also the diet played a important role when the patient used to come there was no restriction for the patient entry if the patient is alive we have to take it that was the only rule on the in the front of the uh, center and that means patient also comes in a very serious condition serious in the sense that they are dropped by the ambulance from other hospital while the oxygen is uh, on their face and the patient is not in a condition to move and we have seen amazing result when we follow food as medicine but that time the food is anything liquid coconut water and citrus fruit juice two things coconut water citrus fruit juice if not citrus fruit juice only coconut water the whole day for 3 days when you do it the temperature start reducing the energy start gaining the fever goes away and the symptom goes away it start vanishing so god has given you one medicine coconut water it is having all the nutrition which your body may require protein carbohydrate fat vitamin mineral in a pre digested form available everywhere right so in our hospital it was a free covid center people they started donating coconut coconut water right those who started getting cured they started sending coconut water for the other patients right so the medicine is available all around you have to just be alert about it and uh, here i will show you my covid center flu center this you cannot see any mask you will not see any social distancing you will not see any oxygen cylinder you will not see any medicine right so and this is very big you see sab hamare bacche hain ye 8 saal ke hain aap kitne saal ke ho आठ साल का है ये चौदह साल पंद्रह साल का है तो ये सब छोटे बच्चे हैं हमारे यहाँ पे कोरोना पॉजिटिव पेशेंट्स बिल्कुल फिट हो गए हमारी जो जीत हुई है उसका वीडियो अभी जस्ट आपके सामने आने वाला है सो यू सी इन अदर हॉस्पिटल इट इज ट्वेंटी 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 इमेजिन एट दैट टाइम दर वॉज लॉकडाउन इन अदर हॉस्पिटल वेन द patient used to go out when the patient used to go out of hospital mostly you see on the tv they are going out on a wheelchair they come came in their own legs on their own legs but going on a wheelchair and they are, they were that too after month or two months if at all they go out right here you see right these are the patient laughing dancing right so what we did we just did the opposite the moment the patient enters the doctor has to hug the patient we believe mask and isolation kills love and compassion heals right. if i want to make you sick suppose you are already healthy i want to make you sick i will isolate you and tell you that you are suffering from a very serious illness because of you all of us can die nobody will come close to you for next 14 days even the healthiest person can never not remain remain healthy even if he knows that we are just joking even then human needs human 
when the people go on space the major thing which they try to understand what will happen if the human is not in contact contact with human so they start becoming sick in asia the first man first asian man to go on space fam tuan he is my friend from vietnam he visited our uh, india delhi last year and day after tomorrow i am visiting vietnam meeting him in one common function so he when he went to space he did all research on this human needs human contact if you want to be healthy right if you want to be sick or if you want somebody to be sick take out and isolate for 14 days that person will become sick if he is already sick for some disease he will die right so the mask sometime in a hospital old lady she came and says oh i am not able to breathe please doctor help what i said i took off the mask are you able to breathe yes i am able to breathe i will go back never wear the mask again sometime solution can be very simple very very simple but it's so simple unable to believe here comes the third medicine gravity as medicine this is the most interesting medicine and whatever i just told you in last 5 minutes about the covid center minister of ayush they came to know what we are doing not following any guideline no mask no sanitizer no medicine no oxygen cylinder no ventilator no social distancing so they were curious and worried what we are doing the ayush ministry they planted some doctors there for a few months and they wrote a complete research paper on what we we were doing and this research paper you can read from here go to this link and they concluded that in our covid center which we call as flu center they concluded this letter by them that most of the people they got cured within weeks time some may take 10 days time and they were all dancing participating even held marriage function inside the covid center marriage function at that time when everything was locked down right and no report of untoward incident no one took any medicine no one took any medicine of what what's of any kind and this model can be used in the future case of covid even the severe case that is what they gave me a letter after their observation right so here what was our medicine for the sickest people was the gravity as medicine you might have rem- might have seen in the television a scenario where the patient in the car unable to breathe trying to find the oxygen cylinder do you remember that those times right now try to go back to that moment in the television screen you will remember the patient is lying on the back of the seat right car somebody is driving and he is helplessly <sighs> unable to breathe right that was a common scenario and the highlighted thing was no oxygen anywhere people were trying to find oxygen cylinder people are dying without oxygen cylinder right the truth is there is so much of oxygen here why he is not getting oxygen right okay now you do like this if i want to make you patient right now same like that you have to change your posture the moment you do like this you will not able to breathe do it right right now right the moment you do like this difficulty in breathing right so if already fear is there in the mind and if the patient is in this lying in this posture the breath will become smaller and then it will appear and now you check your spo2 oximeter before 2020 nobody know what is oximeter but after 2020 everybody while watching tv oximeter and then seeing 1 degree less my god and scared and when scared like this not able to breathe oximeter still lower right so try to understand what was happening at that time now when the patient used to come to our center what we used to do you have to understand one simple science when you do like this 
the heart is at the top lung is under it right lung becomes 20% smaller now do the reverse sit like this now you try to feel your your breathing capacity you will understand you are able to breathe fully because heart is down because of due to gravity pull and lung is enlarged gravity as medicine right i want to make my lung small i want to make it big like this so those patients we know we made them sit like this and we gave oximeter here and then within 15 20 minutes spo2 start increasing symptom starts going away right somebody so sick cannot sit cannot sit right so then you see when you lie down like this if i lie down like this the heart is at the top right heart is at the top lung capacity smaller but when we lie like this like this or like this heart is down lung is bigger right so this is called prone ventilation ventilator what you heard this is a homemade ventilator we put the patient in this posture okay uh, uh, we say among the doctors who oh, put the patient on ventilator this is our ventilator right <laughs> right so the nurse comes doctor the patient not able to breathe oh, go and put the patient on ventilator immediately right and tell their their uh, family member that patient we have put already in ventilator need not to worry right how many hours sometime 8 hours sometime 10 hours in one posture it may be difficult for so many hours we understand but not difficult if you compare it with the conventional ventilator from conventional ventilator nobody comes out alive that is the truth and here in this ventilator nobody die that is the truth right so so to manipulate the size of lung gravity becomes the basic force gravity as medicine similarly gravity as a medicine for heart gravity as medicine for kidney gravity as medicine for all organ is possible i'll give a little bit training with us understanding of the smaller time already but let me give some what will happen how to do it how we do it so here you understand this is the book if you want to go in detail about it you can read this book all my books are freely available at this link bishrup.com/ebook here there are few patients who in spite of doing like this they are not able to breathe still their spo2 is still not increasing now we use advanced ventilator right when the uh, nurse says patient is not recovering then we have a advanced ventilator we have one more tool this time it is a electronic tool 200 rupees fan interesting is when you put the fan like this in this posture i'll show you here on the screen as well like this when you put it like this about 6 inches from your nose and the fan is on what it causes there are some receptors inside those receptor trigger the lung to breathe more to trigger those receptor it needs cool air that's all so we issue every patient one fan and we train them how to do it right like this so sometime we have a helpline we at that time 2020 we opened a national helpline if because whatever i told you for that need not to come to my hospital they can do at home so we have a 24 hour helpline sometimes the call comes doctor the patient is not able to breathe but patient is adamant that he has to take he has to go to the hospital i say okay take him to the hospital how to take it that i will tell let him sit in the front seat right and when he is sitting in the front seat you ask that patient just check whether the hospital is coming nearby or not to check he will open the window and when he put his head out car is running so the air will be on his nose and he will start breathing properly by the time he needs the hospital you ask how you are feeling the patient will say now nah, i am okay 
then come back. So, the idea is very simple that you have to throw air at this region. What I am just said, it is not my invention. It is already in the scientific literature. I am just passing it to you. It is already proven science. Right? It is already there for a long, long, long time. Clinical trial is done long, long time. This means this air versus oxygen cylinder. This air versus ventilator. These trials are done. It is available. It is given a name. It is called prone ventilation. Name is also given. The only thing is, it is not promoted. Because in our country, there are very few people like Dr. Harishchandra. So we need more Harishchandra. Right? So now, coming to what we do for kidney patients. Here there are certain kidney patients also. Or well-wisher of kidney patients. So for kidney patients, how we can activate the kidney patients? So... If you want to know in detail, you can read this book. But if you want to just know uh, the practical part of it, I'll teach you right now. Understand one simple rule. I am talking of the third medicine, gravity as medicine. How we can use it for kidney patients, how we use it. In our hospital, 70% of our patients are kidney, chronic kidney disease patients. So we understand kidney patients well. And we understand their symptoms, discomforts. And most of them are already on dialysis by the time they reach us. Our duty is to help them get rid of dialysis. So, understand how I diagnose a kidney patient. Step one, when the patient comes, look at their feet, hand. If it is swollen, swollen, right? That means the, he is a, probably a kidney patient. Ask him how much urine he passes in one day. If it is less than half a liter, then also it is a sign of kidney patient. Right? So, if his blood pressure is uncontrollable, even with medicine, then also he is a, probably a kidney patient. If I can remove these symptoms, probably I cured him. Right? How to remove these symptoms? Increase the urine output. If I can do it, the swelling will be reduced. If the swelling reduces, blood pressure will reduce. If the blood pressure also reduces, the weakness will go away. If the weakness goes away, no symptom, patient is cured. What we do in our hospital, here I will show you, this is the bed. This is how you sleep. <coughs> this is how you sleep. What we do, we tilt it by 10 degree, right? 10 degree we tilt like this, we keep three bricks. Now when the patient is lying on it for two hours, the blood, because of gravity as medicine, gravity, it will be pulled here, near the kidney. It increases the output of urine. It decreases the swelling. And when the patient does it for more than one week, 10 days, it decreases the blood pressure also. So when the chronic kidney disease patient, they call in our helpline, okay, that these are symptoms, we say go and find a brick from outside. They are shocked. What is the connection of brick with this disease? So sometimes simple thing can be amazing. If you see in our hospital, you'll find these kind of bed. Number of beds, right? People pay plenty of rupees to lie on this bed. Something which they can do it free of cost at their home also, right? So this is many of them. After one week, when we ask, symptom are gone. If the symptom are gone, it is not coming back, then stop doing it. You need not to do it any further. So, gravity as medicine. But sometimes, when the patient is already on dialysis for many, many months, then these three medicines are not enough. Time as medicine, food as medicine, gravity as medicine. Then, heat as medicine. Right? So, what we do in heat as medicine for patients to recover from chronic kidney disease, dialysis patient, and the cancer patient who are having pain, to reduce the pain. So, that is the diet. This is called head down tilt, and the most interesting, hot water immersion. Hot water immersion, what it is, 
This is something which you should make in your home, all of you. So this is a bathtub, imagine. And you, for the kidney patient, if you are on bath, in the bathtub, water level up to the neck, temperature 40 degrees Celsius, and if you sit for two hours, that will lead to what you know as dialysis. This means at home, your body can do dialysis. Why? How? When the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius, and the water pressure means the gravity and heat. Convert your skin into third kidney. And the urine which you pass, all the material goes through the skin. If you take the sweating sample and your urine sample, you'll be surprised. Both of them will have be having similar things. It will have creatinine, it will have sugar, it will have protein, it will have sodium, it will have magnesium, all the same. So, for chronic kidney disease patients, those who don't have urine output, when we put them on this, so slowly their urine output also increases. So if you come to our hospital, what you will see is something here, right? Whoops. No, no, no. Back, back. Okay, now start the video, play the video, okay. So this is our hospital and these are the true chronic kidney disease patient and when they sit like this, water temperature, you remember, I just said 40 degrees Celsius for two hours. First day, we asked them to sit only up to this water, not, not this much, only for 30 minutes. Slowly their body adapt, the pressure, that is gravity and heat as medicine. And then they are eventually are able to sit for two hours. When you sit like this, your need for dialysis reduces at one point of time, your need for dialysis gets eliminated. No need to go for dialysis anymore. Right? And if you want to know about my patients, those who do not need dialysis anymore. I have a complete list of patients with their, uh, from which hospital and their reports, their video testimonial, which you can scan and go to the video section, right? And uh, this one copy I would like to give to Dr. Venkatesh. This is for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rest of us, if you want to see, see the book, you can go to that link bishrup.com slash ebook and this we have been doing for two years and this means many of our patients it this method we invented I invented two years back only this means our oldest patient is for two years with us those who had been on dialysis previously but two years had passed they did not require dialysis right? two years if you want to know who are those patients, the book is right there already, right? So these are the things which should be or can be done at home also. Many of these patients, I say how many, they say till what time, how many days we have to be like this? Three months to six months. But it is not possible to be in hospital for that many time. I tell them learn in our hospital, go back and start doing at the home. And when they go in their home, Indians are very innovative. How they do it at home, I will just show you. Video, video, video. You see, inside the industrial uh, drum and the temp hot water, they are trying to put and achieving the same. These are the true patients. These are the patients who have seen our videos they started doing on their own and once they were on dialysis, but now no more on dialysis. Fridge, the... <laughs> you see? Second hand fridge, second hand, right? He made a wall. He made a wall and through the geyser getting hot water and deciding to be inside it. And engineer 
from Dharwar. He made a portable hot water immersion tub. Can be taken anywhere. Very interesting. Right? He's showing the mechanism automatically the temperature is maintained. You see, keeping a television also to make the, keep him busy inside the bathroom. In this case, outside the house, because inside the house there was no place, so he created for himself outside the house. This syntax tank, water tank, divided into two, become a hot water immersion tub. Child, he was on dialysis previously, but now got healed. Then some people, they bought the water tub from the Amazon, and now they are doing on their own something similar. These were the true patient. They had been on dialysis. Right. So, they were, if you want to know about their stories, then you can read the book called End of Transplant. Right. So, uh, the book is again available in my uh, website. You see, dig the earth and made it a hot water tub. So this means, if you want to heal yourself, you don't need money. You need intention, right? Intention is, should be good. This is Ajmer child. He had been on dialysis twice a week before coming to us. And now with this, he stopped dialysis for a long, long time already. Stopped dialysis altogether. So dependency on outside machine, we can stop. And at one point of time, need not to do this also. The body can work on its own. So uh, all this, what I told you, next, next. You can, sorry. sorry. This is the book. You can find it. We did an observation study on this. And observation study was accepted by a premium journal, International Journal of Healthcare Management. Although they did not publish it, but they accepted our uh, observation study. So there are many things already happening. Now we know about four medicine in hand. One is time as medicine, then is food as medicine, then is gravity as medicine, and fourth is heat as medicine. How to use this in emergency? That I'm going to tell you right now. What we do in our hospital Suppose a patient with angina, heart attack symptoms, right? Lot of pain all radiating in the body and uh, sweating, right? And even try, uh, getting in the verge of collapsing. At what time? At that time, the only thing you think about is go to the hospital. But that is not a practical solution. He, he needs a solution at that moment only. Even in the hospital nowadays, you have seen many, many instances when the doctor himself in the emergency room suffer from heart attack and they die. So there is no confirmation by being in the hospital you have better chance of living. Surely not. Surely there is evidence don't say that. Like whatever tool they have cannot help to halt heart attack, ongoing heart attack. So what we do, how we use this medicine for those kind of patients. The chronic kidney disease patient, they are prone, prone to cardiac arrest or prone to heart attack. So we see emergency situation many times but one of the techniques for heart attack or this kind of pain, I am explaining heat as medicine the f and gravity as medicine. For gravity, you understood already. For lung, how, what is the best posture? right? For kidney, what is the best posture for heart? The moment you see a patient or you yourself, unfortunately, suffering from any pain, Drastic pain, similar to the pain of what we know as heart attack. Step one, gravity as medicine. How? Like what we do, suppose I'm suffering from this pain, so I want to make my heart safe. Heart safe posture. So when you sit like this, this is the heart safe posture. This will help to reduce the pain, at least control the pain. This do not need anything, only knowledge. Wherever the patient is, not on the chair or anywhere on the ground. Because if the patient collapses, he will not fall. Because he is already in the ground, right? So this is the first thing. 
second comes food as medicine ginger what we do ginger right lot of ginger we give to the patient and ask him to chew till the time he is having tears it takes 15 20 minutes tears as the tears appears the pain reduces right these two while posture gravity as medicine food as medicine heat as medicine how heat as medicine right that is the next step by the time take a bucket with temperature 42 degrees celsius to 45 degrees celsius water and then place the legs like this feet like this and this what i have shown you through the research paper and with our experience also it is seen it helps to relieve from the uh, pain from the discomfort from the angina control the blood pressure and make the person normal so these things are simple available everywhere can be done without a harm right so uh, many national newspaper including daining bhaskar last month they published this 29th of september exactly one month before on world heart day this technique so what happened when the conventional doctor they read this article they were all angry right because now you know these uh without money people can get healed right so they did a lot of protest but then i have the evidence of what i'm saying and ginger it can help you to relieve the pain the evidence is this right for your reference right so uh, whatever i told you these are all evidence based and these can be done by the common man these can be done by anywhere right so uh, i'll take only 5 more minutes and uh, to finish my fifth medicine the most interesting and most widely available and widely unused medicine lying everywhere when you go out you will find that medicine just outside this hall also just pick that medicine use it if you can so this medicine i am talking about is zero volt medicine when your body is at zero voltage that is the time when your immunity is at the peak anybody electrical engineer here electrician here electric knowledge here one electrical engineer here one more electrical engineer there also engineer to cure you don't need doctors to cure you need engineers because your body is also an electrical equipment right your body is electrical equipment for all electrical equipment in your home television or refrigerator you have the third plug there is third point what is called earthing right because you know when earthing is there in that electrical equipment it is having a longer life but your body is also electrical equipment isn't it when you go for ecg electrocardiogram electrical equipment only then you go for ecg right so your body can long laster if you put your body in earthing like all the equipments which you have in your home right earthing means when you go out you take out the shoes and step on the earth directly or hold a tree you will start receiving the electrons and these engineers if you tell them they will show through voltmeter voltmeter you have already your voltage within 10 second will become zero and when the voltage become zero that is the time when immunity increases right so when you again wear the shoe like this your voltage become high and that can be detectable by normal voltmeter which engineers are having electrician are having normal which you have seen so in our hospital we keep the patient at zero voltage for minimum 10 hours how we do it for example you go out now take off the shoe and sit let your feet be touching the earth you are at zero voltage but if you want to be at zero volt for 1 hour this means 1 hour you have to sit outside right which is not possible but i am talking of sitting for having zero voltage for 10 hours not 1 hour 10 hours how to do it it is very interesting take a copper wire long wire throw it outside the window and dig it on the mud about 1 feet hold the copper wire 
Now ask the engineer to check your voltage. It will be zero volt. So you cannot go to the earth. Take the earth with you in your home. Right? You will be at zero voltage. For example, how important it is, you know jet lag, when you go from India to US, you are not able to sleep. Because at US, when it is night, here it is day, in the day you don't sleep. So that is called jet lag. Now I'll give you one example. Say this is my mobile, I am flying to a country and before uh, the flight takes off, I put it on a, a flight mode. Now when I land in different country and see the time, it will show the time of which country? The previous country. Isn't it? Why? Because this is mobile is not connected with the local network. Clear? So the time is shown. For, the mobile will follow the timing of previous. Similarly, when you land to a new place, your body and electrical equipment is also in the same time zone as the previous place. So that is called jet lag. But now, what you do next time when you go abroad, when you get down from the aeroplane, take off the shoes and touch the earth of that land for 40 minutes, your body will be reset according to that time zone. Okay. In the same manner as the moment you connect with the local network, within few seconds, the time changes. Right? So, your body also same. Now, it is very important, wherever you are staying, even city to city, we should be in touch with earth. You know, humans are the only animal who get killed in earthquake. Whenever earthquake happens, animals don't get killed. Birds don't get killed. Insects don't get killed. They run away before the earthquake. Animal, human, they suffer because they don't feel the earthquake is coming. Why? Because when humans are the only animal who wear shoes. So since you wear shoes, so the earth sends the signals. When you take off the shoe and put the feet, somebody was asking dementia, can it be cured? Somebody asking sleeplessness, can it be cured? Somebody asking how to reduce the pain. Do one experiment. This you can do any time of the 24 hours. If anybody is angry, manage to throw his shoes and let him step on the earth for 40 minutes. Anger goes away. You try this experiment, right? So, anybody angry on you, come out. I will tell you, I will show you, right? And throw his shoes away. And when he's outside, for a few minutes, it absorbs your anger, right? It absorbs your pain. How it does it? The electrical engineer will prove you that when you touch the earth, the electron goes in the body. Electron, it cures the inflammation, inflammatory markers, right? That can be proven, that is already proved, that I'm showing it here, and that becomes a medicine. That is your zero voltage medicine. Randomized control trial, many, many has happened. In our helpline number, sometimes the phone call comes, ki, uh, doctor, we are traveling in a train and lot of pain suddenly, what to do? So we suggest that hold the rod of the train, any rod. And the train, you know, the wheels are of metal. The train line, right, metal. And they are fastened to the earth with metal. So the moment you touch the train body, in reality you are touching the earth. And when you keep on doing it for about 40 minutes, you start getting the beneficial effect. Right? Earth as medicine. Zero world medicine. How much benefit we get, I tried to find out. Within the first 10 seconds, your body becomes at zero volt. That can be found out through the electrical engineers. 20 minutes improvement in mood and stress. Within 45 minutes, any heart palpitation, it starts getting relief. One hour for a pain relief. If you do one to two hours every day, then it gives a good sleep. Overnight, fast wound healing. Within seven days, redu reduction in blood pressure. And one month, blood 
डिसऑर्डर रिवर्सल ब्लड डिसऑर्डर थैलेसीमिया पेशेंट्स फॉर देम एज सजेस्टेड बाई डॉक्टर हरीश चंद्र द नेक्स्ट सेशन इज ओनली ऑन ब्लड डिसऑर्डर हाउ वी कैन रिकवर ब्लड डिसऑर्डर एंड देयर जीरो वोल्ट मेडिसिन प्लेज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल वॉट वी डू वी टेक ए कॉपर वेयर लॉन्ग एनफ टू गो आउटसाइड एंड अदर एंड द कॉपर वेयर we try to weave it in a cloth right now when at the night you sleep on this cloth your skin will touch the copper wire right and the copper wire is already connected outside so your body through voltmeter you can check it will be at zero volt when you sleep overnight then you feel better sleep anybody who used this zero volt already you have used it already here you have used already that girl already used there are at least three testimonial here only anybody else right three from this place and this medicine is for rest of the life right so you see animals and also the beggars they don't wear shoes and they are not not that much sick beggars living outside the street not having good food to eat lot of pollution still not very sick still not chronic kidney disease patient still don't need insulin right so they have one medicine that is mother earth many times people ask that like you seen a small baby crying the moment comes in a mother's lap suddenly the the, the baby become comfortable similarly we have to be in the lap of mother earth right automatically you will become comfortable right so those who want to know more in detail the science part of it they can read this book cure at the rate zero volt right so this is also available free of cost ebook right and all these techniques we have applied for all kind of patients diabetes type 1 patients thalassemia patients chronic kidney disease patients heart patients so all kind of patients we have applied and we got a good result what is good result if the person becomes free from blood transfusion become free from dialysis become free from the dependence on insulin symptom become free we assume it is a good result right if that is the parameter and if you want to know more about those patients then you can read this book which we released recently and here the title of the book as you know when cure is crime what i just told you in last one hour so this is known as a crime in india what i meant is there is a rule there is a law drug and magic remedy act and that law prohibit in the modern india to communicate anything and say that it can cure a disease that means you are under the preview of that law already right and so in spite of all this people like dr harish chandra they are trying to spread this message message that is a big thing and uh, uh, i am really uh, grateful to him and grateful to you that you came all the way and trying to understand this new things so thank you so i hope that if not all the five medicine start with any one if you see some benefit start with the second one right and uh, that way you try to adopt but at least do something you decide out of that what you want to start with do something right only new action can give a new result right so this means you have to change first you have to change on yourself only when you see some result only then you will be able to recommend properly right so only then you, your they will see in your eyes uh, the that there is some uh, uh, genuinity in what you are saying right so i think the uh, biggest uh, service to the humanity could be if we could help a person relieving their pain right so i hope that this will relieve pain on the humanity and also pain on mother earth because when you do all this you are eating less animal less animal suffering less animal pain also and that is good for you good for humanity good for the earth so with this i conclude this first session i hope that uh, you'll give me opportunity to meet again thank you thank you thank you
अगर आप लाइफ सेविंग वीडियोस, हेल्थ टिप्स के रेगुलर अपडेट चाहते हैं हमसे व्हाट्सएप से जुड़ना चाहते हैं तो स्क्रीन पे दिए हुए नंबर पर व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपना नाम